We're glad you're back. We're here with Chef Mike, Mike DeLuca. Good, good to Charlie. see you good again. Good to be back. We've got a lot of mushrooms here. Got mushrooms all over the place. We could talk forever about mushrooms, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to buy them. Yeah, because I would just no, pick one no, of these. No, there's, and... there's, there's a way. There's a way. Right, well, tell me Each mushroom it... has gills underneath of them, if you could right. see that real fast. All right, the wider the gill is open, the older the mushroom, the more flavor you get in from the So mushroom. you really want an older mushroom when you're yeah, buying that's it. That's what you want. You want an older mushroom. The tighter, you could eat a younger mushroom, the more subtle the flavor is going to be. So if you're looking for a bang flavor, buy the ones with the uh, <coughs> larger gills. And, and, and also, Charlie, pe people get me a little nervous about dropping mushrooms on the floor. Mm -hmm. They throw them out. Please don't throw them There's out. There's no three-second rule with... It could be a 50-second rule if you it want. Doesn't because matter. mushrooms come from the ground. I mean, your floor's got to be a little cleaner than the dirt, okay? Now, so, so, but you should still wash don't these. Don't wash these mushrooms don't wash either. Them. Please, do me a favor. Never wash a mushroom. It's a sponge. It absorbs everything. So once you wash them, the, the water gets in them. They become a little more rancid. They, beget, they, they, they start to so get really soggy. So really, you just kind of no. dust it off. All you want to do is chop them off, dust them off, chop them off, throw them in a saute pan. Make sure your saute pan is very hot. And just saute them for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. And you're just talking about some olive oil in there? A little bit of olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And that's about all you have to do to a mushroom when you're done. You have a finished product that maybe looks like this. What about storage? We storage, just storage is important also. Don't put them in plastic. We have really? tendency to wrap everything in plastic. Put them in a brown paper bag. That's the best for a mushroom. And just on the countertop? That's it. No, in the refrigerator. Keep them in, in the refrigerator. refrigerator, yes. All right. Well, great. Well, once again, a great tip from Not Chef Mike. Thank you hey, so much. Love being here. All right. See you. And that's today's tip.